I like what Proverbs 4.23 tells us, that we're to guard our hearts. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. When I'm talking about the heart, we're talking about our innermost thoughts, emotions, attitudes, you know, feelings, all of these things, right? And so to guard or to watch over our innermost thoughts, emotions, attitudes, and behaviors is protecting one's heart. Now, the Scripture is very clear. You and I have a responsibility to keep our heart or to guard it. Yes, the Holy Spirit helps. And yes, we've been completely forgiven of our sins, past, present, and future in Christ. But we also have a responsibility in grace. Everybody say responsibility in grace. Grace isn't just do what you want and then expect quick forgiveness. Grace says, no, I've been forgiven. Now I've been empowered to live a holy life. So therefore, I'm going to endeavor to keep my heart right with God. That's what confession is. It brings us back to that place. So we have this responsibility. The Holy Spirit helps us, but we have to choose. If the Holy Spirit comes to me in a time of prayer and He begins to show me, There's an area right here that's not right. I want you to deal with this. And I choose to ignore that. God's not going to abandon me. He's not going to forsaken me. But I begin to hinder the flow of His grace in my life. Does this make sense? I'm affecting my prayer life. I don't know about you, but it's sort of like shooting yourself in the foot. Anybody of sane, sound mind is not going to shoot themselves in the foot, right? Uh, it's a graphic, but you guys think you guys get the point, right? So why, why do we like self-inflict wounds on ourselves and we don't just stay in a place of humility and say, okay, Holy Spirit, I receive this. Lord, I'm sorry for this, whatever the this is. Or if you need to make restitution in some area or make something right, say, okay, Lord, I, I'm going to do that, right? And Jesus even taught this elsewhere. He goes, listen, if we have an offense for, or against our brother and we come to the altar, we need to take care of that thing first, right? So we have responsibility. 